Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about mind maps and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you create a mind map in Canva for free? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to create a mind map anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know, you got a lot of different projects and different employees and assistants going on. So with a mind map, it can keep you focused on which part of your business you should be working on and also keep track of various ideas. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your free Canva account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my Canva account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to create a mind map for free in your Canva here in the search bar, you want to go ahead and type in mind map. Okay, once you do that, you're gonna see a lot of different templates that are available for you to set up your mind map. But what you wanna do is here on the top right, click on see all. Once you click on see all, Canva is gonna show all of the mind map templates that are available. Now, most of these are free. However, there are some that have a crown or a dollar sign on the bottom right. Now there is a cost associated with those ones. So if you wanna see just the free ones, click on all filters here at the top. And then you're gonna see this drop down here on the left and just scroll down until you see this button here called free and then just click on apply. Okay, so now it's showing all of the free templates. So you can kind of just scroll through and then see which one kind of fits with your brand. Okay, for me personally, I kind of like this one right here. Let me go ahead and click on it. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. So the thing is with Canva, once you click on the template, they're gonna show you other ones that are related. So sometimes you can scroll down and find a better one. But for me, this one looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and customize this template. Okay, now it's gonna pull up the editor inside Canva. So when you're setting up a mind map in Canva, it's basically as easy as setting up a Facebook page. So if you hover over these little parts, that means you can edit it. So for example, here, I'm not gonna set my mind map up for job hunting. Let's go ahead and just name it for YouTube channel, okay? And you can see that the words are outside of the circle. So we can go ahead and adjust the size of the circle if we want by dragging these little white dots, or we can go ahead and just highlight the words and then we can shrink those down until they fit inside the circle. So this is all completely customizable. So that looks better. And you can also even change the colors. So we'll click on that circle and you see up here on the top editor, you can see it's brown, but maybe I wanna click on there and then make it red. So there we go. Okay, so now we're just gonna build out this mind map. If it's kind of small, then you can go ahead and change the size of it right here. So you can make it bigger and zoom in if you want. And as you see, we can go ahead and zoom in or zoom out. So if you need a wide bird's eye view, you can do that. Okay, so generally when I'm setting up a mind map, I'm gonna have the focal point. This is the big goal right here. And then these little legs that come off of it are going to be what it's gonna take for me to get to this goal. So for example, so we'll do make videos. So that's obvious for my YouTube channel. So let me decrease this, make video. Okay, and then next one, interviews. So that's actually pretty good. So we'll go ahead and leave that at interviews. So maybe I need to get on other YouTube channel and they can interview me. And then maybe this one we're gonna do blogging. So when I'm blogging, I can promote my YouTube channel through those blogs. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and split these make videos off. So make videos is still kind of general. So maybe here I'm going to go ahead and put tutorials. And then also another type of video that I can make is maybe entertainment. Okay. So I'm going to shrink that down. Okay. So these are the two types of videos. Now, a lot of times are going to be more legs than that. So we can go ahead and just click on this arrow and then we'll copy it or you can click on duplicate. Now we have another arrow and we can build out another leg. So we'll move it over here and it's not quite connected to the make videos right there. So what we can do is click on it and we can grab these little arrows and maybe turn it around like that. Okay. And then we'll just do the same thing here. We'll just go ahead and copy this. We'll duplicate it and then we'll drag it up here. Okay. Here we go. Okay. And then I'll grab the tutorials and then I'll just copy that and then I'll paste it in here. Okay. So we got tutorials. Okay. So now we have two tutorials. So let me go ahead and change this. So we have entertainment videos, tutorial videos, and then maybe we'll do news videos. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Now you can have as many legs as you want to kind of split this up. And then you're just going to work through this step by step. So every day I know that I need to make videos. And then here are three ideas on the types of videos that I can make. And then also every day I need to go in here and look if I need to set up interviews. So maybe the interviews I can do podcast. I can contact other podcasts to have me on as a guest. And then also YouTube channels. Okay. So maybe I need to contact other YouTube channels so that way they can interview me. And what other kind of interviews? And maybe I want to go on the street and do street interviews. So we can do street interviews. Okay. Now, if we want, we can even split this off even further. So from news videos, maybe we can go ahead and split this off as let's go ahead and turn this around. So from news videos, we can go ahead and split that off into maybe what types of news. So we'll go ahead and copy this bubble again. We'll paste it in and just drag it right on over and grab the news video. Okay. And then maybe what we'll do is just type this in what types of news videos. So we'll do outdoors. Okay. So as you're building up a mind map in your Canva, you can always come back and edit it. So sometimes you're going to be laying in bed at night and then you have different types of video ideas. You can come back in and add those in. So next, what you want to do is up here on the type middle, you want to go ahead and type in mind 
map, and then just name it. All right, next, what you want to do is go ahead and click on share here on the top. And if you want, you can even download this. So click on download. And then here you can go ahead and choose the file type. So JPG, PNG. So maybe you're going to be putting this as a lead magnet. You can go ahead and save it as a PDF standard. Okay, let me go ahead and download it. Okay, it's downloading my mind map now. Okay, guys, so here is my mind map that I created in Canva for free. So maybe you're going to be putting this on your blog or maybe you're sending it out to your employees so that way they understand what the goals are. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to set up a mind map in your Canva account for free, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.